Hello folks, welcome back. My name is J.R. Shankar from Velaxi Technologies. I am creating Ansible video series. In this video series, we are going to cover multiple concepts. I will show you how can you write Ansible playbook if you just know shell commands. It's quite interesting and uh, for this purpose, initially we are going to set up Tomcat server with shell commands. Once it is working fine, then we convert shell commands as Ansible playbook. Once it is working fine, we'll use Ansible variables. Then we use notify and handlers. Then we are going to manage different operating systems with a single Ansible playbook. Depends upon the target operating system, it has to execute particular tasks. After that, we are going to convert our Ansible playbook as a Ansible role, which would be quite interesting one. These are the things we are going to do in this video series. So first let's start with setup Tomcat server using shell commands. If you wish to watch entire series of these videos, you can enroll for this course in Udemy. I have given this link in the description of this video. This is my AWS console where I have Ansible server and Tomcat server. I have already logged into this system. This is Tomcat server which ends with 49. Another one is it which ends with 163. It is a Ansible server. Let me show you. So it is 49. It is Tomcat server. 163. It is Ansible server. Now to install Tomcat server, I have procedure. First, we should install Java. Once the Java installation is completed, we can download Tomcat packages using this URL. I have already copied the link over here. If you wish, you can download it by opening this website. And here, tar.gz link we should copy. Right click, copy link address. This is how we can do. Anyway, same link I have copied over here. Minus P nothing but which target directory we should keep this downloaded packages. I want to keep it under slash USR local. Once it is downloaded, we need to extract it by using a tar command. Then start the services. These are the steps we should execute to set up Tomcat server and start the services. Let's do it by executing commands as it is initially. Once it is set up, then we are going to convert as a Ansible playbook and will execute as a Ansible playbook. Let's go and do this one. First, we should install Java. So this is my Tomcat server. Let's install Java. I think Java is already installed. Yep, it is already installed. Next step is download packages onto USR local. So let me... Okay, I'm already under USR local. No packages are there. Let me download it. Alright, download is completed. Now we can see Apache Tomcat packages are there. We should extract it. I have extracted. Let's list out. Go inside Apache Tomcat folder. Under this, we have bin directory. So, under binaries, we have a shell script called startup.sh. Currently, if I see grip tomcat, tomcat is not running. And uh, let me start the tomcat services. It started. Now we can see, and let's access this from the browser. It is on tomcat server copy the DNS, public DNS and uh, it runs on port number 8080 that is default value. Okay, so it has been loaded and it is up and running and if you see I have opened port number 8080 in the security group, Ansible security group. It means it's working fine. Now, we are going to convert these shell commands as a Ansible playbook. To do that one, let's log into our Ansible server pwd now i am under a directory called slash home ans admin playbooks let's create tomcat setup dot yml okay so ml playbook starts with three minuses followed by description of your playbook install tomcat server then hosts all 
I want to install on all hosts become true why because this is a installation we should have root privileges then tasks this is the actual portion of modifying your shell commands into ansible playbook so the first command is install java so to install java we should use a module called yum let's go and search ansible module to install packages okay i will quickly go through with this you can do detailed analysis if you wish so m is a module where you can install packages see here uh, install latest version of apache m name state so same thing we can copy m name java here not httpd state latest i want to install latest java this is first task second task is download tomcat server so we are downloading tomcat server packages to download packages let's search for to download packages you can see ansible module called get url this is the module we should use to download it's like a wget command so i'm going to use get url this is the module under this one we have attribute called url so we should provide the url what is the url we have here so let me copy this url next dest dest nothing but where do you want to copy these packages slash usr local right all right now we have downloaded packages next step is extract these packages all right to do that one let's see what is the module is available extract a tar right because we are downloading tar file you can see anarchive anarchive is a command to extract packages and you can see the syntax how you can use so we are going to do this one let's anarchive src it is under slash usr local and file name is this one right next dest after extracting where do you want to keep i want to keep it under usr local itself another thing which you need to consider while using archive is sorry an archive is whenever you use an archive or archive usually it looks for this file in the local system local system nothing but on ansible server but this package we are downloading on the target system right for that remote src so remote source is yes it means go and check in the target server not in the ansible server this parameter should be present in this playbook otherwise it looks in the ansible server itself next thing we need to start services and name is a optional field whether you want to use it or skip it's up to you start tomcat services so once it is extracted we have a bin directory under bin directory startup.sh is there so startup.sh is a shell script let's see what is the module to execute shell script execute shell script so if you see we have a module called shell or even we can use script but it is better to use shell shell module so by using shell or even command module also we can use here i am going to use shell module and uh, the file location is under this location slash bin slash startup.sh right this is the command we should execute but if you execute this command what will happen 
whenever you log off from your target system as a ans admin this service get stopped i don't want to stop this service that's why i'm using no hub so that even though you log off from the server this service continuously runs in the background right so this is the ansible playbook we have written now we need hosts file va hosts i will add it as a tomcat server and server name is ip addr is a command to know about ip address this is the ip address we are adding so cat host host is ready let me test it ansible all minus m ping minus i hosts so try to ping the all the servers which are there in the host systems we have only one server and it can able to successfully communicate with that now let's run ansible playbook before running let me clear the tomcat installation over here first is uh, let me stop it to stop tomcat services shutdown.sh i have stopped it so if i check for services it is not running now go back and remove apache folder itself i have removed i don't have anything let me clear the screen ls and once we execute playbook once we execute this tomcat playbook we could able to install java first but anyway java is already installed you cannot see any variation then it downloads the tomcat packages extract it and start the services right so ansible playbook minus i hosts tomcat server dot yml minus minus check let me check it out whether my syntax is fine or not okay everything is fine this is fine because uh, source doesn't exist that's why it cannot able to extract it let me execute this playbook actually so it's gathering facts anyway and the java installation it has been skipped because green color means it is already available in the target system so java is already available it's downloading tomcat packages right now okay downloaded extracted and started let me see ls and also it has been extracted let's see the ps minus ef grep tomcat all right service is also running and uh, if you see refresh this one it should work all right so whatever we have done through the cell script we have done through ansible playbook itself this is how you can convert your shell commands as a ansible playbook now if you see our playbook we have done a lot of hard coded nothing but if this uh, url is not available it is going to fail even the location also changes if the url changes even java also versions might be changing in these cases we should not use hard coded value in our ansible playbook for that reason ansible has another concept called variables in next video i will show you how can we replace these values with variables and whenever we want to change some values we no need to modify our ansible playbook at all how can we do we can see that in the next video hope this video helps you to convert your shell commands as a playbook you can try same kind of methodology to convert your shell commands or shell script as a ansible playbook if you wish to watch these kind of videos furthermore please subscribe to our channel and follow us in our facebook group